Good morning. Uh, I wanted to come on about um, our foundation, Buko's Rising Stars, because we had some questions about uh, what can I bring, uh, what's the foundation about. So I figured I'd come on live and uh, use this account because most of my friends are on this account. Uh, and you'll be able to see it on Buko's Rising Stars. Uh, one of the reasons, or actually the main reason why I started this foundation was growing up in foster care, living on the streets at times, um, the foster care system unfortunately didn't give me the opportunities that I felt I needed to grow in life. So, quick story, um, after I left foster, foster care, I wound up uh, trying to find my own way. And, of course, we're not all good kids, don't get me wrong, but I've had my issues. Um, I had drug problems and things of that nature. And I realized that the only way I was going to survive was to uh, create my own destiny. So it was either become a part of society or become a statistic. So I chose the latter part of them. Um, we have three pillars or three opportunities in the foundation that we're looking to help uh, foster children, orphans, as well as underserved children in the, uh, in the immediate area, Belleville, Nutley, Bloomfield. And I chose these areas because my first foster home was in Bloomfield, my second foster home was in Nutley, and I grew up a lot, uh, most of my life was in Belleville. <clears throat> So I'm just looking at this. So that's really why the foundation started. I want to give these children an opportunity to have a future, but also teach them um, that they do create their own destiny. And whether the system is there for them or they're there for themselves, uh, what I've created over the years, thank, uh, I have to thank my clients, thank my friends for the opportunities that I've been given. So one of the things is an entrepreneurial part. And what we're looking to do with that is I've applied for the Shark Tank seven times. I'm going for my eighth. Got to the second round three times. So I'm a firm believer and you don't give up. You just keep going and going and going. So we want to create a theme like that to help uh, put a foster child, orphan, or underserved child help them become an entrepreneur. And we're gonna do this by through mentors and some of the CEOs that I work with in major companies. <clears throat> the other two parts are a transition. Uh, when I got out of foster care, it was, okay, uh, see ya, good luck, we hope you, we hope you make it. Uh, and I had to fight to put a roof over my head. Um, so we wanna help with that and the other portion is a scholarship uh, to each one of these towns or a student in each one of these towns to help them either go to a trade school uh, or to, uh, to college. But with those two last opportunities, uh, we have some requirements. We want them to work in a, um, an animal shelter, uh, which is a great opportunity for someone. It really teaches them how to take care of something that can't take care of themselves and also we want them to work with senior citizens a lot of these kids don't know what a grandparent is and it gives our senior citizens a good feeling that they've actually helped someone uh, this year we're teaming up with Winona's and we're gonna look for other orphanages uh, and we're gonna work with some foster care uh, big brothers and so on and so forth but this year we chose Winona's uh, and they're gonna be at the event talking a bit, a bit about their program. One of the other questions I've gotten was, uh, what can I bring? So this is technically a toy drive, um, but talking to some of the people at Winona's, a lot of these kids range from 12 to 17. So you don't have to, but if you wanna uh, reach out, maybe go to Walmart or Target, maybe pick up a sweater or a sweatshirt. Uh, something for those kids uh, would be wonderful. We're also gonna be looking down the road to, with the transition program, to assist these uh, young people with furniture and other things that they may need to furnish their apartment, uh, and so on and so forth. So I'm just giving you a little bit 
uh, you know, dribs and drabs of what we're looking to do. We hope you show up. Uh, the foundation uh, inaugural breakfast, which I'm very excited about and nervous because it's my first one, uh, is Sunday, December 15th between 10 and 12 at the Chandelier in Belleville. Tickets are only $35. Uh, children are more than welcome and children are $15. Uh, Santa Claus decided to arrive at our event, so we're going to be taking pictures with Santa. If you have any questions, please find us on Facebook at uh, Buko's Rising Stars, or you can check us out on the web and read more about my story uh, at www.bukosrisingstars.com. I look forward to seeing you guys there. I hope you come out and support us. Uh, it's going to be a small, fun event, uh, great breakfast. And I want to thank the Chandelier for uh, helping host the event. We look forward to seeing you and enjoy the day. Have a blessed holiday season.